got a new project today. We're going to be installing the BrickWeb product. It's a brand new one just hitting the market. This is going to be an interior right over painted sheetrock. We had a little bit of remodel with it, but this product's great for something like this. It can be rough construction, and we're going to be putting this right over this wall. We're going to try to spice up this, this basement wall down here and make it look better. It's got beautiful rock right here on this fireplace, but this new brick wet product is going to add a lot to this wall, give it a unique look. Let me just go over a little bit of the brick whip product with you. It's a new, unique way of installing thin brick. Let's go over this a little bit. What thin brick is, um, it's basically the face is the same size as a full brick, but it's cut obviously thinner. The unique thing about brick web though is this is a clay, genuine clay brick, and it's kiln fire brick, um, which means it's the same as any other genuine kiln fire brick. It's going to last forever, and uh, so it's, it's a really nice brick, and they've got a ton of colors to choose from. Uh, if you go to installbrickweb.com, you can see those colors. Just to go over a little bit about this unique brick web, they've got this webbing on the back here holds these brick in place. There's 12 brick per sheet and so it makes it super easy to install and it's quick, fast. They're already set. The grout joints are already in place. Super easy product. The other nice thing about BrickWeb is they've got this cool instructions on the back of all their boxes. Just a simple one, two, three step. Easy way to grout. We'll go over that as we install. Another unique thing that they have is these cool corners. How nice is that? We're going to be able to install corners fast. It looks good. It's already stacked. And we're going to be putting that up. The one thing that we're going to be installing this with is mastic. Just a simple tile mastic. You can use thin set on, on this product also. But for interior over painted sheetrock, it's great to just use mastic. Okay, <clears throat> we're getting ready to uh, start to put on the mastic here. A little bit of tricks to this installing uh, brick web is what we've done here is I've laid this out one on top of the other one and took a measurement from top to bottom with my grout joint in the middle. Uh, what this does is this gives me 21 inches to work with. That way what I can do is I can come over here and mark a line on my wall at 21 inches from the top of the ceiling. That gives me a great reference point as I put these sheets on is I have a perfect line and I know I'm level. Another thing, when you're doing a brick web like this on these walls, I usually look for the most visible point on the wall where it's going to be most noticed, and that's where I want my full brick to be at the top. So we're going to be starting this wall from the top and working our way down. What this does is this helps you also with keeping your brick clean. It's easier to work with as you work your way down. If we were worrying about sagging on this, we might go from the bottom up. but with the way this is, we're going to be starting from the rock because it's our most visible point and working our way to the inside corner. So, I'm going to go ahead and start putting the mastic on in this section only. That gives me 21 inches. I know I can get two rows in here of uh, brick web. And we'll start mounting that on. We're going to go over a little bit of the cutting here in the process when, when, you, when you're cutting thin brick. You know, there's two ways you can cut brick web. Uh, with this you can either use a, a wet tile saw uh, which you can rent or if you already have one um, or you can you can even use a hand grinder with a diamond blade on it that's what we're going to be using today I like that if you don't feel comfortable using a hand grinder go ahead and use a wet tile saw they cut great there's a couple of things you're going to need to do when you're using a hand grinder though is you're going to definitely want to use a mask because there is some dust involved always use eye protection when cutting with this and also ear protection and it makes it a lot easier. So let's go ahead and start cutting.
Okay, a couple of reasons why we're cutting the ends of this is so that we can have a nice flat edge. It's already set up, they're already staggered so that when you lay the other one over the top of the other brick web, it's just super easy to align. So we've got these cut. Let's go ahead and start installing. Make sure you cover every possible inch of that because you are dealing in smaller brick that all need to be covered. Okay? Now I've got this line here. I don't want to cover that up. So I'm going to hold back about a quarter inch on that line so that I can see that as I install the brick web. We're going to start working our way down this. You can go ahead and put on actually quite a bit if you've already got your brick web pre-cut and measured. Because it goes really fast. The install process on this is so much faster than the old way of installing thin brick. It is amazing. Okay, when you're putting up the brick web or the mastic like this, you're going to want to push on this brick. Get it to seat in. Just give each of them a nice firm press. And that's all you've got to do. Okay, we'll go ahead and interlock the rest of this with some more brick. The nice thing is on this brick web is you can take a sheet like this, stick it right up there. Press it in. Simple as that. All right, we got our wall done here. We're gonna go ahead and start on the other one. This involves a corner, so we're gonna talk a little bit about the brick web corner sheets, how to install those. These are great because they're pre-mounted right on the webbing. What this is gonna do is this is gonna allow us, and it's very rigid, this is what's nice about this, is you're not gonna have any sagging. It stays rigid as you install it. So, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be putting this on, obviously here, but we always wanna start with the corners first. This is really important because as we lay our courses in here, it gives us a great line and it's always a starting point. So whenever you have a corner wall, always start with the corners. The unique thing that we're going to do here is we're going to cut this brick right here so we have a nice full course looking as we work our way this way. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to put some mastic on here on this corner piece. I've drawn a line here and this keeps me so that I don't put too much mastic on over into our finished wall that will be exposed. So I'm going to go ahead and follow that line across here and wrap that corner. Okay. 
I'm gonna go ahead and get some more mud on here. You wanna hold that back about a quarter inch from the top just to keep 